All right, we are live. I'm going on mute. Take it away. Okay, thank you. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. We are so grateful that you're able to join us virtually tonight so we can thank you for all you have done to help make our region the place for life. I, my name is Claire Wales, uh, and I'm the uh, chair of this meeting for tonight. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that the lands on which our conservation areas are located are the traditional territory of the Three Fires Confederacy, comprised of the Ojibwe, the Ottawa, and the Potawatomi peoples. We respect the long-standing relationships with First Nations people in this place, and we value the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and all of the original peoples of Turtle Island. Welcome everyone to the first virtual annual meeting of the Essex Region Conservation Foundation. My name is Claire Wales, and it's my great honor to advise that at the business meeting preceding tonight's celebration, I was acclaimed as president of the Essex Region Conservation Foundation. I would like to thank my fellow board members for this great honor and trust. I would also like to sincerely thank all of you who have so generously contributed time and funds to enrich and sustain our region as the place for life. Thank you for joining us tonight and allowing us to celebrate you. As you know, the funds that you so generously donate support the conservation projects and programs across the Windsor-Essex region. It's my pleasure to introduce Tanya Jobin, Chair of the Essex Region Conservation Authority, to say a few words. Tanya? Well, good evening, everyone. And thank you, Mr. President and members. On behalf of the Essex Region Conservation Authority Board of Directors and the entire staff, we are so grateful to all of you for your support of conservation programs and initiatives. Because of your generosity, trails have been expanded and enhanced. Thousands of trees have been planted to ensure our region remains healthy and sustainable, and thousands of children have been connected to nature through our outdoor education. Also, thanks to all of you, we will be able to come together later this spring to cut the ribbon and open the new John R. Park Homestead Heritage Center ensuring that more children than ever can learn the stories of our history in an accessible and equitable manner. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. As you likely know, the changes of the Conservation Authorities Act was passed into law at the end of last year, categorizing mandatory and non-mandatory services for which we are able to request levy funding. Support from generous people like you will be even more important to ensuring that we can move forward and continuing important program areas to ensure the sustainability of our region. Once again, on behalf our board, of our board and on behalf of all of our constituents who will benefit from your generosity, our most sincere appreciation to all of you. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tanya. At this time, we do have some business to attend. As mentioned, the Board of Directors met directly before today's annual general meeting to vote on several business items. Board members voted to retain the firm of Hicks, McPherson, Ayatona, and Dreger LLP as the foundation's auditor. We'll learn more about that firm later tonight. I'm also pleased to confirm the slate of officers for this upcoming year. As mentioned, I am honored to have been elected as president and will look forward to working with our board and incredibly generous donors like you to ensure we can continue to enrich our region as the place for life. I'm pleased to welcome Brian Parent to the position of Vice President. Amanda Gelman has been elected as Officer at Large. Our Executive Director, Tim Burney, has been appointed as Secretary, and Shelley McMullen has again been appointed as Treasurer. There are some members leaving the board this year as their maximum terms of service have been reached. We are sad to say goodbye to Charlotte Loring and Rakesh Nadju. We are very thankful to them for all they have done over their terms to enrich and sustain our region as the place for life. We will be honoring their legacy by planting a tree for both Charlotte and Rakesh through our gift that honors program. We know this is not goodbye to you, but rather see you soon. I'd now like to take a moment to recognize the board members of the Essex Region Conservation Foundation. These individuals volunteer their time, talents, and expertise to help us raise funds for the incredible projects that you so generously support. 
and I'd like to personally extend my appreciation to each of you. Normally, I'd ask you to stand, but perhaps for the sake of those tuning in, when I mention your name, you could give a little wave. Thank you to Terry Fink, to Eric Naylor, John Olmsted, Dan St. Dennis, and Chris Savard. It's also my honor to welcome or welcome back the following new members to our board. Meg Boschen, a successful realtor who also owns Caffeine and Company Limited. Pearl Davies brings a wealth of previous board experience as well as her expertise in her former role of Senior Manager of Marketing and Communications for FCA Chrysler. Terry Patterson, who I don't believe is here tonight, but who served as past president of this foundation and is a respected retired judge. David Robbins, who served as past president of this foundation and is a, sorry, <laughs> David Robbins, who, served, who is a lawyer and partner with Strasburg Sasso Sutz LLP and former vice president of our foundation. And Tony Rosati, co-owner of award-winning construction firm, Rosati Construction Inc. Welcome, and we thank you for your dedication to creating a sustainable future for our region. In welcoming new board members, there are also some changes to our leadership. After serving as president since 2014, Susan Stockwell Andrews will be moving into the role of past president. As one of the foundation's longest serving presidents, so much was accomplished under Susan's leadership. And we invite you to watch this short video of appreciation. As the foundation's longest serving president, the Essex Region Conservation and Foundation thanks Susan Stockwell Andrews for all that was accomplished under her leadership. Indeed, the foundation reached a new level of fundraising success thanks to her involvement. She was key in launching the Trail On campaign and in working with the Cipher Systems Group to secure the funding which has resulted in the 26-kilometer Cipher Systems Group Greenway. Susan was pivotal in guiding the Foundation's rebranding initiative to ensure our region remains the place for life. Under Susan's tenure as president, we successfully launched and completed the $1 million Place for Life campaign. As a result of Susan's leadership and the incredible support from donors like you, this region is now connected by trails with the addition of the Rotary 1918 Centennial Hub. Two new forests have been created at the Rotary Legacy Forest and the Soltz Family Foundation Forest. Three new community entrances will be finalized this year. The WFCU Credit Union Community Entrance, the Dennis and Jeanette Chase Family Community Entrance, and a surprise entrance you'll learn more about in the coming months. The Caesars Windsor Nature Trail at Devonwood Conservation Area has been resurfaced, and the sawmill roof at the John R. Park Homestead has been replaced. Thank you, Susan, for your leadership, stewardship, and dedication to protecting and enriching the Windsor-Essex region as the place for life. That was wonderful. What a, what a great uh, presentation that was. And Susan, you've... I don't know what we'll do without you in your leadership role, but I'm glad you're still here with us on the board as past president. Uh, thank you, Susan, for all you, that you have accomplished. Once it is safe to come together, we have a small token of appreciation for years of valued leadership. And we're wondering if you'd like to say a few words. Well, thank, thank you, Claire. Um, that was, I, I didn't really expect that presentation, but... Um, it's, it's interesting because over the last week or so, I've been kind of reflecting on um, the time with the foundation. I actually went back and I was trying to remember when I actually came on the board and it, it's back in 2011. So it's, you know, 10 years and those, like you said, the last uh, seven as president. Um, so I kind of know now I, I was trying to thinking my, my worn out my welcome, but you know, all joking aside, uh, it really has been an honor to serve on the board. And as as, pre as past president, I, I promised Claire and Tim and Danielle that I, I won't, I'm not running away. Um, and I'm very pleased to, uh, to continue as past president. 
I know that I, I did uh, express my, um, my thoughts on succession planning and the importance of ensuring that we do this for the foundation. And I couldn't be happier about the future leadership um, that's been attracted to the foundation. And I know we've, we've heard the names uh, and, and saw the waves from people today. And I'm so confident that uh, the foundation is in good hands as we're moving forward. Um, we've continued to make such tremendous strides over the past number of years. And I really do look forward to working with everyone on the board uh, to complete our commitments that we've made. And I think, I think if I reflect back, you know, one of the most important things that I've, I've learned and taken away from this experience is that the advancements that we've made that you saw in the video, uh, it, it's been a group effort. It isn't one person that accomplishes these things. And it's been the efforts of my colleagues on the board. It's the dedicated staff at, at IRCA who support the foundation. It's our volunteers, it's our amazing, amazing donors, many that we've seen even over the past year, it, they've never been involved previously, and others that have continued to offer their support to the foundation year after year after year. We've, we've noted that this pandemic has been a very strange time for us, and we've also seen how important it is that we continue the work uh, that we've been doing together to support the efforts of the foundation. We've seen many people over the last year that have experienced our conservation areas and our, just our natural areas for the very first time. And as a director of the foundation, it just feels so good to have been a part of making sure that this could happen for people. And I think maybe what stands out for me most is that the work that I've been able to do with the foundation just feels good. I don't really know how else to say it, but it just feels good. It just feels good knowing that what I'm doing is helping to make a difference for a region that we all call home. And with that, I guess I just, I want, I know he's not here tonight, but I want to say thank you to Terry Patterson uh, for many years ago, providing me with the opportunity to join the foundation and to become involved to all of my colleagues on the board and new colleagues, uh, you're tremendous and I'm really excited about the future. And to Richard, to Danielle, Nicole and Shelly and Ken who have kept me on track through with my years on the board and as president. And now Tim who has like jumped in with feet running full speed and uh, with the entire IRCA team. Um, just thank you for making this your passion. And to Claire, who has graciously agreed to step in and continue with uh, leading this foundation forward. Thanks for always being there to step in on the rainy days. And those of you around us will understand what I'm saying because it always seems to be raining when, when Claire steps in when I was not available. I promise that there's nothing but sunshine ahead. So with that, thank you everyone very much for the acknowledgement, but it really truly has been my privilege to serve uh, as president and on the board. So thank you. Okay. Thank you, Susan. Thank you so much. Uh, your, your leadership has been so inspiring to all of us on the board. And we just hope to be able to continue on uh, in your, following in your footsteps. And I know uh, the running joke has been that uh, uh, it, whenever it rains, that's when I end up having to to fill in for Susan, but I'm thinking about a little bit, maybe that wasn't just happenstance. Maybe <laughs> she doesn't like rain. I'm not sure. But at any rate, Susan, you did a wonderful job. And especially seeing that video and realizing over the past seven years, all of the things that you have led us in accomplishing. If we can do that for the next seven years, uh, we'll have a, a wonderful place for life here. Thank you, Susan. So, with Susan moving into the role of past president, the board felt the membership involvement of the current past, past president was too valuable to fully relieve him of his duties. And so I'm delighted to advise that Ken Schmidt, past president of the Essex Region Conservation Foundation and former general manager of the authority has been appointed as an honorary life member of the Essex Region Conservation Foundation. Thank you, Ken, for your years of dedicated service. And we look forward to leverage your expertise to ensure our region remains the place for life. 
That concludes the business portion of our meeting. So let's get on with the celebration. Since 1977, thanks to you, our supporters and partners, so much has been accomplished to sustain and enrich our region as the place for life. That legacy that we have collectively created for this region is truly something we should all be proud of and celebrate. There's no question that 2020 was a year of challenges like never before. While two of the foundation's three fundraising events had to be canceled, supporters stepped up to the plate in unprecedented numbers. Individual donors like you gave more than $20,000 through Giving Tuesday campaigns. The University of Windsor Alumni Association outdoor classroom was opened and generous organizations and individuals pledged more than $500,000 to the new John R. Park Homestead Heritage Center. These are just a some of the highlights from the past year and a more detailed picture of how grateful we are to each of you can be found in our gratitude report, which was emailed to you prior to this meeting and can also be found in our website. In total this year, we have raised nearly $294,000 for conservation programs and projects. Thank you, all of you. Since words cannot describe the impact and accomplishments that you have made, we have a short video pres presentation of appreciation to a share. What a great presentation. That was wonderful. Seeing that reminded me how in this year of COVID, how important our work is. I, during this year, I've been out on the bike trails. I've been out on the greenway. I've been at the conservation areas. And at every one of them, there's been people outside and enjoying the facilities that, that the Essex Region Conservation Authority has provided and that our, the foundation has supported in, in uh building those things and without those greenways without those conservation areas I don't know what people would have done in this past year uh, getting out into nature has helped everybody to deal with this whole COVID pandemic and our import, our work is crucial and important and uh, that video brought it all back to me too 
So thank you to our donors. On behalf of the Foundation's Board of Directors, we cannot thank you enough for all that you, our partners and donors have done to rise to the challenge of ensuring we protect our environment and heritage, ensuring that our region will remain the place for life. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Executive Director of the Essex Region Conservation Foundation, Tim Burney, who is also the CAO of the Essex Region Conservation Authority to recognize the recipients of the 2020 Essex Region Conservation Foundation Awards, and also to provide an update on the Foundation's Imagine Canada reaccreditation. Tim? Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Good evening again, everyone. On behalf of the Foundation, I'm pleased to advise that our Imagine Canada reaccreditation is underway and will be finalized in 2022. When we first achieved this accreditation in 2015, we became one of only 200 organizations across Canada that met the standards of excellence in the areas of board governance, financial accountability and transparency, fundraising, staff management, and volunteer management. We're proud to continue to uphold these standards so donors like you can continue to have the utmost confidence and trust in our foundation. Now on to the best part of the evening. Conservation Foundation Awards have been presented since 2012, honoring those corporations and individuals who have generously supported the conservation projects and programs that make the Windsor-Essex region healthy and sustainable. We're so grateful to all of the many donors and supporters who continue to make our region the place for life. It is a great honor to especially recognize uh, credible organizations in particular, two credible organizations in particular. Tonight, we're privileged to extend our most sincere appreciation to Hicks, McPherson, Ayatona, and Dreger LLP, and the Soltz Family Foundation. While we sincerely wish that we are able to thank you in person, please enjoy this video presentation uh, especially for you. You can't have a complete meeting without some technical difficulties. It's only, it's only fair. Just give us a moment and thank you.
So sorry, we're just having a couple of glitches with uh, getting the sound going. Um, we're going to give Aaron just a quick minute to be able to, to reset the, uh, the presentation. The Essex Region Conservation Foundation Award for Outstanding Corporate Contribution recognizes a business partner in the community that has made an impact in furthering the mission and goals of the Essex Region Conservation Foundation. This year, we are delighted to recognize Hicks, McPherson, Ayatona and Dreger LLP, known as HMID, with this honor. As chartered professional accountants, HMID offers a broad range of financial services to meet the needs of both individuals and businesses in the community. The seeds of business planted over 60 years ago have grown deep roots in the region. The firm has maintained an office in Leamington since 1956 and has a long history of providing clients with exceptional service. HMID partners and staff believe in giving back to the community. The firm has donated to the Leamington Splash Pad, Leamington Kinsman Recreation Complex, Leamington United Mennonite Home, Leamington Hospital Foundation, UMEI Gold Sponsorship, Sun Parlor Rodeo, and many other worthy causes. Each of the partners also demonstrates a commitment to volunteerism in the community and participates in organizations such as the Leamington Kinsmen, Hogs for Hospice, South Essex Community Council, Big Brothers Big Sisters, and many more. In addition, the firm donates significant accounting services to worthy charities each year, and the Essex Region Conservation Foundation is fortunate to have been one of those benefiting charities. In fact, HMID and its predecessor firms began donating audit services in 1978. In the last decade alone, the value of services donated to the Essex Region Conservation Foundation is estimated to be over $32,000. When you consider the savings that these donated services have resulted in over four decades, the impact is incredible. The savings realized by the generous donation from HMID LLP allows those funds to be reinvested into conservation projects and programs in the Windsor-Essex region. We are so grateful to HMID and all of its partners and staff and are honored to present them with the Conservation Foundation Award for Outstanding Corporate Contribution. Hi, my name is Tyler Hicks. I'm a senior partner here at Hicks McPherson, Iatona and Dreger, my partner, Lindsay Iatona. We just want to say that HMID has always believed in giving back to our community. We encourage an environment where staff and partners are able to give both their time and money to support these worthwhile causes that directly affect our local area. We're proud of the many organizations that we support and hope that they understand that we see the impact of foundations like yours each and every day. We wanna thank you for your tireless work and effort to improve the health of our environment now and in the future. We have always prided ourselves in giving back to our local conservation authority as we have all enjoyed the natural areas our county has. We are all from the local area, born and raised in Essex County, and have fond childhood memories and respect for our local environment. As adults with busy lifestyles and families, we have an, extra, an even deeper appreciation of getting outside and enjoying our local region whenever we get the chance. On behalf of all the partners and staff at HMID, we are honored to accept this award. Thank you. Our next award is named in memory of Clifford Hatch, whose largest single contribution to the Essex Region Conservation Foundation in 1995 allowed us to acquire what is now the Chrysler Canada Greenway. We are delighted to recognize the Soltz Family Foundation with this honor. The Soltz Family Foundation's mission is to improve the welfare of the Windsor-Essex community with a focus on supporting projects and programs and social services that provide opportunities for children and youth. Incorporated in 2016 as a registered charity, the foundation was developed to create a legacy of giving involving three generations of family. 
The impact the Soltz Family Foundation continues to make through the programs that they support is remarkable. In the past few years alone, they have supported significant renovations to the Connections Early Years Family Center. They have ensured inclusion for kids of varying needs at the Kiwanis Sunshine Point Camp, the Soltz Family Foundation Respite Home, and the Riverside Miracle Baseball Field. They have also made significant contributions to the Unemployed Help Center during our region's most vulnerable time. In 2019, the Soltz Family Foundation committed to connect kids with nature for a three-year period. In 2019, thanks to this gift, more than 800 elementary school students planted over 2,500 trees at a former farm field in Leamington. Additionally, more than 100 secondary school students gained an enhanced level of environmental education in tree planting, restoration, and leadership skills. This program also included an in-class curriculum component to ensure students have a greater connection with nature and recognize our impact on our surrounding world. While COVID-19 gathering restrictions impacted the planting scheduled for 2020, this year we look forward to doubling up on these efforts. Once completed, thanks to the Soltz Family Foundation, more than 2,500 students will have been connected to nature and provided with important leadership opportunities, while 32 acres of former farmland will have been transformed into the Soltz Family Foundation Forest. Connecting kids to nature is one of the most important gifts that can be given to young people. We are so grateful to the Soltz Family Foundation for making this profound impact, and we are delighted to honor them with the Clifford Hatch Conservation Foundation Award. On behalf of the Soltz Family Foundation, Board of Directors, and membership, we are so thankful to be recipients of this year's Clifford Hatch Conservation Foundation Award. At the Soltz Family Foundation, our mission is focused around children and youth. So when the Essex Region Conservation Foundation reached out to us with a potential opportunity for children and youth, we knew that this was something we wanted to do. Since then, we have established in partnership with the Essex Region Conservation Foundation, the Soltz Family Foundation Forest, and hundreds of kids across Windsor, Essex have had the opportunity to go out to the forest and plant trees and learn about conservation and the environment. We are thankful to the Essex Region Conservation Foundation for bringing this opportunity to us and for allowing us to be part of the valuable work they do for our community. Thank you to the Essex Region Conservation Foundation and their Board of Directors for this award. We are very thankful and appreciative and we look forward to continuing our partnership with you in the upcoming years. Congratulations to you all and once again, our sincerest thanks Normally at this time, uh, we would invite you all to join us in a toast and a celebration. Let me just get my reactions out here. That's, I'm sorry, that's uh, the best I can uh, rouse for you uh, this evening digitally. That's the best I can do there. Susan's got a clapping hand, so we'll have our own little digital uh, hurrah here. Normally at this time, we'd invite you all to join us in a toast and celebration and we look forward to coming together again when it's safe to do so. Please be safe and considerate of each other and with each other during this pandemic. We, the light is at the end of the tunnel. Uh, we just have to see this through and again, be considerate of each other and safe with each other. For now, we thank you in sharing this time of celebration tonight and wish you all continued health and safety. This concludes our celebration this evening and hope that we will soon be able to come together in celebration of conservation projects, programs, and initiatives you have so generously and continue to support with us. Thank you again, and good night to all.